What's going on YouTube family? Antoine Butler here and yes I am back with another word and what God has put on my heart to talk about in this video is the reason why you have enemies. Once again the reason why you have enemies and the number one reason why you have enemies is jealousy. If you ever wondered why someone is hating on you or trying to do things against you and you've never done anything to them, you've never wronged them in any way, you can't even understand how they even have this hate for you. The main reason is jealousy. They're either jealous of what you are doing, something about you, or the demons that's controlling them view you as a threat. Come on now, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. So the God in you irritates the demons in them. Wow. But that's the main reason is jealousy. So I look through the word, I got a couple of stories. So let's talk about them right, right quick. The first one is Daniel. Now, I'll just read it. Daniel chapter 6, verse 3 through 5. And this reads, Daniel soon proved himself more capable than all the other administrators and high officers. Because of Daniel's great ability, the king made plans to place him over the entire empire. Then the other administrators and high officials began searching for some fault in the way Daniel was handling government affairs, but they couldn't find anything to criticize or condemn. He was faithful, always responsible, and completely trustworthy. So they concluded our only chance of finding grounds for accusing Daniel will be in connection with the rules of his religion. So Daniel's getting, getting elevated, Daniel's getting promoted, and it says the other administrators got jealous. And so they searched for fault. They searched for something wrong with Daniel. But when they couldn't find nothing wrong, only thing they could find fault with is that he continually prayed to his God. So they taught the king and the making of the law that that he could not pray to his God, but he prayed to his God anyway. And they threw him in the pit, but the lions, the lions wouldn't bite him. And the same people that made, the same people that accused him, they, they're the ones that got ended up thrown in the pit. But the point I wanna make is that the reason, the root cause behind them coming against Daniel was jealousy, it was envy. Daniel was getting elevated. Daniel was getting promoted. Daniel was seen better than all of them. So they were jealous of Daniel and they also viewed Daniel as a threat. So they searched. They searched for something to find fault with. The root cause of the enemies was jealousy. So there are some people that are coming against you and you might be wondering why they're coming against you they see something on you that they're jealous about. A lot of times hating and enemies, it's a form of flattery. Because if you wasn't doing anything, they wouldn't be your enemy. It, they would have nothing to hate on. Did you catch that? Jesus said that if they hated me, they're gonna hate you too. So like I said, the demons in them are irritated by the God in you. They see something on you that either they wish they had or they're jealous of. Come on now. Let's look at another one. Let's talk about Joseph. Glory to his name. Now, over in Genesis chapter 37, I'm going to read this. As you know, Joseph was Jacob's son and his brothers ended up trying to kill him. So let me just read the story about this. This is Genesis 37, three through eight. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children 
because Joseph had been born to him in his old age. So one day, Jacob had a special gift made for Joseph, a beautiful robe, but his brothers hated Joseph because their father loved him more than the rest of them. They couldn't say a kind word to him. One night, Joseph had a dream, and when he told his brothers about it, they hated him more than ever. Listen to this dream, he said. We were out in the field, tying up bundles of grain. Suddenly, my bundle stood up, and your bundles all gathered around and bowed low before mine. His brothers responded, So you think you will be our king, do you? Do you actually think you will reign over us? And they hated him all the more because of his dreams and the way he talked about them. Wow. So why did Joseph's brothers hate him? It was jealousy. So that's a word for somebody right there that, yeah, you might have some enemies in your own family. You might have some enemies that are your siblings. And the reason they're your enemies, they're coming against you, is jealousy. I said the reason is jealousy. The first murder in the Bible is Cain killing Abel, a brother killing his brother over jealousy. So that's a word for someone right there. But if you follow the story, they wanted to kill Joseph. They threw him in a pit and then Joseph was sold into slavery. And along the way, Joseph went through a lot. He went through slavery. He went through being in jail, falsely accused. But he still got elevated up to the place of being a ruler. So what they put Joseph through, it never, it never altered God's plan for his life. That's, that's another good point. Everything that Joseph went through, it never altered God's plan for his life. Come on now, because God turned every situation around for Joseph's good. He was supposed to be a slave, but the man Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Even when he went to jail, they start making him over everything in the jail. So on his way to be being a ruler, he was learning leadership in other ways. Wow. And if you go down to Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Now Joseph is a ruler. It's a famine in the land. He's over all the storehouse and his brothers are coming to him for food, but they don't recognize Joseph. So he tells them, I'm Joseph. And now they're scared. They're fearful because now he's in a position to actually, you know, throw them in jail or have them killed or whatever, because he's a ruler. And he said, don't worry about it. In verse 20, he said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Wow. He's saying, I know you sold me into slavery. I know you hated on me. I know you meant to kill me, but yet it made no difference because I still ended up being a ruler. It, 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 had, no, it had no effect on where I was going. It had no effect on the dream that I had. I still got to the end of the dream, no matter what you did. And that's a word for somebody. Is that, yeah, they can hate on you, they can lie about you, they can talk bad about you, but just keep going. Because they can't stop you. Woohoo! I'll say that one more time. They can hate on you, they can lie on you, they can talk about you, but they can't stop you. So just keep going. Everything that the enemy means for bad, God is the God that will turn it around for good. And if you read through the text with Daniel and Joseph, I know I talked about it in my last video, Your Enemies Are Defeated. I'll probably post a link after this. But I talked about how Daniel stayed walking in love. And when you walk in love, it shifts the battle to God. And as you see this text, even Joseph, he was not mad at his brothers. After all that he went through, he was not mad. He said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Whatever hate, whatever plot that you had against me, whatever you tried to do against me, it, it, had, it did not alter my life. It did not alter the plan that God had for my life. God showed me the dream of being a ruler, and I'm a ruler right now. 
I'm a ruler right now. He's saying, I understand that it was not you. It was the demons controlling you. They had you coming against me to try to stop me from fulfilling my God-given destiny. He said, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Glory to his name. Well, with that being said, that will bring another video to a close. I just felt that in my spirit to talk about the main reason that you have enemies is jealousy, but they can't stop you. So keep going. Keep your eyes focused on where you are going because they may hate on you, but they can't stop you. So until the next video, I just want to say God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.